All right, just wanted to do a video about these. This recent school shooting that happened at this uh, school in Michigan, Oxford High School, and just showing how this is an example of the result of neglect of parents, and that why parenthood has just been totally destroyed by America's liberal left-wing culture, and that parents are told, don't, you know, just put your kids in daycare, just go out and get a career. You know, mother, mothers are told that. And this is the result. Neglectful parents, uh, you know, obviously irresponsible parents, and this is the result, a school shooting. Now, this is not always going to be the case. Okay? I'm not saying this is always the case, but this is the ultimate end goal result of this satanic Luciferian agenda of just destroying any traditional family, destroying the parenthood roles. And I'm just going to show this article about Michigan school shooting. Who were the Crumberries? Court records give social media posts, or social media posts give clues. Yeah, because these two shooters, the parenting was neglectful. So these two shooters, they went down a dark path. See, this is why the Bible says that parents, you know, parents are supposed to teach their kids. Parents, and by the way, sending them to public school is already bad enough. The Bible says that parents, you know, if you're a Christian parent, obviously I don't believe these people are Christians, otherwise they won't have done this horrific shooting. But in a Christian setting, parents, you know, mothers, you teach your kids. You don't, you don't send them to a secular school where they're gonna ta be taught atheism, humanism, liberalism, and all kinds of anti-God philosophy. But this is the result of neglectful parents. And parenting has just been destroyed in America. The roles of parents have been totally destroyed. And this is the deathly result of the whole thing. So I'm going to read this article. Uh, and by the way, parents are, in, are essentially normal uh, godly parents are an endangered species in America these days. And here in Canada too, it's not much better. I'd say it's actually worse here in Canada in many ways. The online presence of Jennifer and James Cumbry might have seemed normal last Tuesday when authorities say their teenage son opened fire in the, in the halls of Oxford High School, killing four classmates and wounding seven others. Before Tuesday's tragic events, video shows the father and son teaming up for a boyish prank on mom. Then and there is a mother's glowing yet crass letter praising Donald Trump, as well as a concern over her 10-year-old son who was struggling with school and needed tutoring. This is the same, a same ten year old that same ten year old making videos about basketball, video games, and a family vacation. Uh, eerily quotation quotation considering the devastating police considering the dev devastation police say he brought to the halls of the high of his high school. Yeah. Because the parenting was irresponsible and it was neglectful. And so the son he needs tutoring and he needs you know, what should have been happening is the mother should have been homeschooling his son. Should have been teaching him. But there is the, and there also was the irresponsible dad who was leading his son down basically a path of, of essentially lawlessness, of pranking his mom, uh, just being very childish and immature. You know, fathers, you're not supposed to. You know, obviously, I'm not a parent, and I'm not here to lecture you about parenthood because I'm not a parent. So obviously, I'm not, I'm not even qualified to talk. But from the Bible, I'm just going to tell you what the Bible says. And fathers are supposed to be responsible, according to Scripture. And I'm going to get to the Scriptures in a minute, but. This neglectful parenting is the reason that caused the school shooting. Because if they had godly, God-fearing parents that raised them, taught them in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, this kind of horrific event would have not happened. A deeper dive into the lives of Jennifer and James Crumby reveals blemishes tucked in court records that include court proceedings for minor crimes by the parents and custody issues. In stark contrast with the depiction of a family interaction laid out by Oakland uh, County Prosecutor Karen McDonald over the several days of news conferences and court proceedings, Jennifer Cumbry, 43, and James Crumbry, 45, each faced charges of involuntary manslaughter for the roles they allegedly played leading up to the shooting deaths of four high school students. Their son, Ethan, is charged with four counts of first-degree murder and 20 counts of other crimes for his alleged for his alleged slaying of the four students and wounding of six teenagers and a teacher at Oxford High School. James Crumbery purchased the weapon with the son on Black Friday and stored it in an, un an unlocked drawer. McDonald said, so this is what the prosecutor said. She also said, she said he and Jennifer Crumbery ignored warning signs, including a 15 year old uh, Sofa Moore drew a paint, uh, drew depicting a handgun, a person bleeding from a gunshot wound, and messages including, These thoughts won't stop, help me, my life is useless, and the world is dead. Now, the fact that it even got to that point was already bad enough. But because there was so much neglect there, they were just ignoring these warning signs. And that's how it is with most of these murders. A lot of them have. Uh, rough parenthoods, they have rough childhoods, and oftentimes the warning signs are missed or ought just straight out ignored because of the irresponsibility. 
continuing. The notion that a parent could read those words and know their son had access to a deadly weapon that they gave that they gave him is un is unconscionable, and I think it's criminal. McDonald said it is criminal. Uh, she says a custody about the couple grew even faster on Friday when they became the target of a fugitive search and a ten thousand dollar reward by the U.S. Marshal Service after they stopped responding to attorneys' messages and didn't appear for an arrangement. They were arrested at early hours of Saturday on the east side of the Detroit building after an hour-long search. Police found them in a building locked somewhere in a room hiding. McDonald said that, said their Friday that during their Saturday morning arrangement in the 62nd District Court. They had withdrawn $4,000 from an ATM at Rochester Hills and took multiple uh, steps to conceal their location, the prosecutor says. Now, are these the kind of people that should be raising children? Absolutely not, they are irresponsible. And this kind of criminal activity had an influence on their son, plain and simple. You see parents, again, I'm not a parent, so I'm not trying to lecture you about being a parent, but read the Bible. Okay, how you act, you, your sons are supposed to, you're supposed to bring them up in the nurture and admonition and how you act, they're going to copy you. That's just how, that's just how kids work. It's just this, this mental psychology of kids. They'll work, they will copy their parents. And if they don't learn right from wrong, they're going to copy them even into their teen years and get into criminal activity. You see, most serial killers were often abused by their parents. So what happens? They start abusing others. They start uh, doing crime, you know? Just look at the backstory of life. Like, hey, Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler, the uh, uh, Nazi Germany leader, he had an abusive father. And you know what that taught him? That taught him, show no mercy, have no compassion, and just be brutal towards your enemies. You know? Now, obviously, you should defend yourself. I'm not advocating that you don't defend yourself, but there is a level of mercy you should have for your personal enemies. Enemies of God is different, but personal enemies, you know, you should defend yourself if they come after you, but... You know, you have to show the mercy too at times. But Adolf Hitler, because of his abusive father, would basically start being cruel to others. Why? Because kids copy their parents. And this is how it was with these neglectful parents with the criminal activity it influenced their son. The couple pleaded not guilty to the charges at when they were arranged. The Crumbies attorney, Shannon Smith, and Mariel Lehem said they had fully intended to turn them in first thing Sunday morning for arrangement, contrary to the misinformation that, that has been rampant in the media, and that they had not known about the scheduled Friday assignment. Smith said McDonald's office had not been communicative with her plans about charging plans for charging or a press conference uh, and to quote surprise our clients and to catch them off guard quote our clients are absolutely going to turn themselves we're absolutely going to turn themselves in smith said it was just a matter of logistics all the prosecution had to do was communicate with me about it and we tried multiple times the defense attorney said say the crumbies were devastated like the people of oxford by the shooting they said mcdonald had has cherry picked uh, facts to show an accurate picture and an accurate picture of the Crumbies. For example, Smith said the gun Ethan used in the shooting was locked, not unlocked, as McDonald con contends. Uh, McDonald's evidence presented Friday includes posts from Crumbies' social media accounts. Days before the shooting, Ethan had posted a picture of a semi automatic handgun his father had purchased, describing it as, quote, my new beauty. Jennifer Crum Crumsby posted about Ethan taking it to a gun range to test it out as his new Christmas present. To test out his new Christmas present. Quote, I expect parents and everyone to be to have humanity and to step in and stop potential tragedy, McDonald said. James Crumby and Jennifer Crumby have been protective of their son, who did not talk to authorities following his Tuesday arrest. Ethan's attorney said the assignment arrangement, uh, Scott Kazak objected when a judge ordered the son be held without bond at the Oakland County Jail after he was transferred from a children's village, a juvenile detention facility in Pontiac. Kozak, uh, Kozak argued, quote, these are all allegations and he has not been he has not been found guilty. James and Jennifer Crumby reportedly met with school officials just hours before the shooting to talk to them about the troubling images and notes Ethan had written during class. McDonald's McDonald also said uh, the day before the shooting, the teacher at the school uh, reported Ethan was searching for ammunition on his phone. The school uh, reached out to Jennifer Crumby, but never heard back. Authorities say Jennifer Crumby later texted Ethan about the episode, uh, quote, lol, I'm not going to get mad at you. You just have to learn not to get caught. See, they're encouraging it. Oh, I won't get mad at you for looking for ammunition for a gun. Just don't get caught. So you just got to hide it and be sneaky. See, it was a bad influence on this kid. It was neglectful parenting. And that's what led to this uh, tragic school shooting. 
And hey, by the way, I'm not against owning guns, by the way. In fact, I actually am all for I'm actually I'm actually totally against any form of gun control. Why? Because it's communism. It's fascism. It uh, takes away your right. Every single communist country has gun control. North Korea, China, some of those brutal places on Earth all have gun all have gun control. They do not have the right to bear arms. So I'm against any kind of gun control. But that being said, you know, there is a level of responsibility that has to be there with a deadly weapon like that. And when you know your kid is searching for guns and you know he's got problems, there are some issues right there. Okay, again, not saying I'm for gun control. Okay, gun control is never the answer. Okay, uh, by the way, gun control does not work because all the cities that have, high, that have tough gun control laws have the highest rates of gun crime. Look at Chicago, the toughest gun laws of any city in America, yet the most gun crime. Why? Because criminals don't care about the law. Okay, you can ban guns, they're still going to get guns. They don't care about, I mean, as if they actually even cared about following the law in the first place. Yeah, give me a break. Gun control is not, it, it, all that gun control does is just simply disarm law-abiding citizens and make them now in danger because they can't defend themselves against a criminal who illegally got a gun who got just worked his way around the law. So yeah, gun control advocates, here's the thing, if you don't want a gun, don't buy one, but don't infringe your, your ideology on people's personal rights and freedoms. Okay, all these celebrities out there who want to push for gun control. Meanwhile, they live in gated. They live in these gated communities with armed guards. Yet they think you should have a gun to defend yourself. Disgusting hypocrites. But what do you expect from a bunch of liberals? That rant was free, by the way. It won't cost you anything. But uh, let me keep reading the article. Oakland County Circuit and Probate Court records do not indicate any prior problems. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, so, so police in a uh, village in Oxford uh, where the family lives said they had no contact with the teens or run-ins with runs to the family home to indicate there was any trouble behind closed doors. School officials all said, also said the youth had not posed any special trouble or required dis disciplinary action. Oaken County uh, Circuit and Probate Court records didn't, did, did, don't indicate any prior problems with the teenager or his family, but they do reveal an elder Crumbie had that the elder elder Crumbie had problems meeting with uh, fisc, fiscal responsibility. Had, had problems meeting fiscal responsibility concerning children raised by the respective mothers in Florida, and both had brushes with the law. Court filings indicate James Crumbie was uh, and, and you, like you know you can just get the picture. They're pretty irresponsible. Court filings indicate James Crumbie was. Uh, Erez for was in, in Erez for several thousand dollars out of state child support for two different women, both the Duval County near Jacksonville, Florida. Filing from a uh, filing from last month involved 1,721 of overdue support payments dating back from June 2005 for a daughter born in 1997. A separate complaint filed in June 2017 claimed 7,617 appears. Uh, in errors uh, for his financial financial support for a son born in August 2003. So you, you get the picture. They're pretty irresponsible. I, I'm not going to read this whole article, but uh, I'm going to read the part where it talks about um, his Facebook page. According to Jane Crumby's Facebook page, which had not, has not has been removed, he worked a variety of sales of jobs, according mostly for technology companies. The, the companies he listed as current and former employees did not return calls requesting comment. Uh, Lemon said the father had health issues, including diabetes, and had been gainfully employed. And has been gainfully employed. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to read this whole article, but the bottom line is, is you get the picture. The parents were very irresponsible and neglectful. Now. I'm going to show you what the word of God says about proper parenting and how to prevent shootings like this. First of all, you had to be saved and be a Christian and then you, and you raise your children up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. It's that simple. I'm going to read some scripture real quick before I close this. Proverbs 22 verse 6, train up a child in the way that he, in the way he should go and when he is old, he will not depart from it. You see, they trained up a child in the way of criminal activity and irresponsibility. So what happened? He went that way. He, de he departed from any kind of lawfulness and followed the way that his parents trained him up in. You see, Satan knows this verse too. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Prover Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. But they trained up the child into criminal activity. And what happened? He followed that path. Uh, what else there? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. That's Ephesians 6, 4. Something they didn't do. They brought him up in a lifestyle crime and encouraged him to do all kinds of uh, sneaky and irresponsible acts. 
and that's what led to this tragic school shooting is irresponsible and neglectful parents and and parent neglect is just a big problem in america today uh, here in canada too pretty much most of the western world which has been destroyed by liberalism the luciferian ideology of liberalism it's a big problem and shootings like this notice how it is never a traditional family with traditional family values that has their son go out and shoot people like this it's always some broken uh irresponsible family that has follows these liberal family values family values quote unquote yeah this is the result of neglectful parents okay parenting is important and when it's not there shootings like this happen so anyway don't be deceived by this liberal propaganda of destroying the family by the grace of our lord jesus christ with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.